Hi, welcome to the next series of the lymphatic opening. I just want to remind you that you have to begin at the very beginning where we blow bubbles. Before we begin our series, I want to talk a little bit about something that had happened to me last week that I talked about on my blog at www.gohealthysteps.blogspot.com. I'd love you all to join my blog if you can and make some comments on it. Uh, I think it has some very interesting things on there that you might enjoy. But at any rate, I was hiking and I got a couple of bug bites. And I got one bug bite on my normal arm and one bug bite on my arm that has lymphedema. And the arm that has lymphedema began to swell and get very red. And the redness became four by four and began to spread around my arms and began to turn into cellulitis, which is something for those of you out there who have lymphedema, be very careful when you get a bug bite. And so I put Benadryl cream on it, took Benadryl, and also had to start my antibiotics. So I had the cellulitis very well under control almost immediately. So that's something that I want you to really keep in mind when you're out hiking to carry your antibiotics, Benadryl cream, and antibacterial soap. So now that we covered that, and if you want to know more about that, visit my blog. But at any rate, I want to go on to the next series of our lymphatic opening, which is our arm movements, which work on range of motion and also are going to work with the axilla and opening up the chest and opening up our lymph nodes in our arms and our hands. So I want you to take one arm and move it into and across your body, up and over. Remember, slow, smooth, and resistance. Very slow. Now remember, there's no pain. So I want you to move the arm very slowly. Now if you can't go as high as I'm going, then just make your circle small so you feel the stretch. Remember, no pain, just feel the stretch. And if you'd like to, you can lift your head up and follow your hand so that your head is moving as well. Very nice. You can do two or four in one direction depending on how you feel. We're going to do four. But if your arm is tired, just do two in one direction, okay? Good. This is number three. Remember look how slowly I'm moving my arm. If you want to know the counts, we're going to count to eight. I'll count this time for you so you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Now let's try our other arm. It goes inward across the body. One, range of motion. Working the axilla under your arm, working the lymph nodes in your hand and your arm, and across the chest. Good. Now remember what I said, no pain at all in this program. Good. Very, very nice. Remember, you can reach me at GoHealthySteps.com. There's a great chat room on there. You can visit my blog. Good. Nice and slow. Good. Nice slow stretch. Remember, put on some music that you like. So you're doing this with some great music. Good. Keep it slow. Remember, you don't want to do any fast or rapid movements. You want to keep it nice and slow. Smooth, with resistance, good. And this is our last time because it's four. But remember, if your arm feels fatigued in any way, just do two, just do one, it's fine. Now we're gonna take the other arm and move it the opposite direction. So it's gonna go outward and move up and in. Good, and across the body, very nice. Good. And remember the counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven. Now if your arm feels tired, just stop here at two. You don't have to do four. But if you'd like, we can continue. Good. Rest your other arm while this arm is working anywhere. Down by your side is fine. And if you don't feel like moving your head, you can keep your head forward and just keep it center. Good. Very nice. Good. And now the other arm. It moves out and across your body. So it lifts up. Good. And across the body. Very nice. Nice and smooth. Doing a great job. Keep it up. Good. So we don't want the rapid movement. We want it nice and slow so that the protein in your body doesn't get too thick or have trouble passing through the lymph drains and the lymph nodes. You don't want anything blocking up. So the slower you do it, the better your lymphatic system is going to be working for you. Good. Very nice. Remember no pain. Just feel the stretch. Good. Because the more you do this, the better you're going to get. So don't be brave and say, I'm going to do it this many times. Work up to it if it feels like it's too much. This is our fourth one. Good. Great job. I will see you next week. Have a great week. Write to me. Visit my blog. Bye-bye.